Ask Broman episode two. Special episode with EM EMP Omega right here. Well, What's up, I bud? Oh, hello. Oh. Is this is this EMP Omega? Uh, yes, sir. Here Hi, right man. Here. What's up? How are you? Dude, extremely honored. Good morning. How are Good morning. Honored. No, please. I am honored. How are How are you doing? I mean. Doing pretty all right. Little Aiden's kind of crashed on the couch and uh, watching a little bit of cartoons, so I can actually talk to you this morning. All right, <laughs> I love it, man. So, what uh, what can I do for you, man? I I don't even know where to begin, bro. It's like I'm I'm very easily like starstruck. Like I got to one v one lucky once upon a time, and uh -huh. I was like bouncing up and down my chair. It was like I was <laughs> getting my ass handed to me because like. This directory is well done a lot for me to say the least. You guys have kind of let me kind of get up by the bootstraps and be the dad that I really should be for my son. So thank you. That's really nice of you to share. Thank you, man. Cause like, dude, I was so embarrassed. I remember when I got a uh, raid invite from you, but when you were doing like the carries or whatever before the Taken King. Sure. I was like, oh yeah. You Here's this gun. That was the swall of text of just my fangirling to you. I was uh, like, oh crap, he got that live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes it happens, for sure. So do you have a question um, for me that we can we can dig into? Yeah, well, I was just talking to a guy in the little uh, meme thing. Sure. And I was telling him, like, I really enjoy the aspect of streaming. Just, I, I have two younger brothers, and we would play Halo. We would do things we get hyped on the couch just it was just what nice you get high or you'd get hyped 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 hyped, hyped, hyped. hyped. okay <laughs> no I was just making sure you know it's whatever i want to make sure i understand where you're coming from okay so you get hyped you're chilling out with your buds all right yeah but uh basically i really just enjoy having people to get hyped with me or just being like dude that was some bullshit or whatever yeah and i've been trying to do it when i can but uh my biggest roadblock which I've kind of taken a bit from your first episode. Sure. Is time allotment because I'm a dad and I feel like I'm not going to say people are lucky, but like people like lucky, their kids are very, uh, he's got a newborn basically. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, true vanguards. I feel like he's got a kid that's maybe a little older, but still been younger and, uh, untashed. Like I'll look to, all these dads in the community is just like these idols or whatever. But Aiden, he's kind of behind. He's about to start preschool and stuff. And I felt like it's just been such a yeah awkward time to really do. So, so your, so like, your question I'm, is you, you, so you want to start streaming is what you're saying. Yes or no. Yeah, definitely. Okay, it's just, you do. I don't know if it's something where I need to like be patient with because it's like, well, you absolutely have to be patient. Patient is key. <laughs> number number one most important thing for any endeavor you're engaging in is to be incredibly patient so like patience first of all number one thing yes but um so what like have you sat down and like thought about like okay well like what time do i have every day that isn't being used currently like do you have any time every day or daily that you're like ah this is kind of like wasted or not being utilized to its maximum potential. Have you sat down and tried to figure that out yet? Well, to a degree. I mean, right now, kind of getting to hang out with you would be quote unquote time because there's days when I'll just kind of be on my PC for a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's like most of my day is kind of concerned to just, you know, teaching Aiden or trying to get him to talk. And sure. So are you like stay at home? Stay at home, dad? Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's kind of ah, why it's like, I I've see. Got some I've got some really nice peripherals, everything to set up to stream and everything. And my family got me like a $2,500 computer oh my God. to stream because That's really they were nice. Just, yeah. They were insanely nice to that. And I almost feel just like, I'm not going to say dirty, but it was like, these guys are so cool to me to give me this. And I don't really feel like I have the time to stream just because I'm raising my son. Sure. It's like, so do you feel are like you, are you a hundred percent? Is it just you like you're doing it solo? Or... Well, my wife works like a dog, so okay. it's nothing on her, but it's like, it's me and Aiden against the world. And so I just feel like 
my biggest question to you to have an outright question. Sure. Should I wait until my son is in preschool and actually have time <laughs> to stream? I mean, because it's like I get hung up and it's like, dude, I want to do this and want to be a part of this community, help people sure. that have helped me. But it's like I almost feel like roadblock to a degree where I need to wait till my life will actually permit me to do that. I mean, I mean, timing is timing is definitely part of any decision, right? Like whether or not it's the right time. And if you if you legitimately don't have like any space to start streaming, right? There's no reason you can't do other stuff. Like if you're still having time to play games, like you know, upload a clip or something if you to like Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, and like there there are just so many different ways. Like streaming is a very long form uh, style of content creation, right? Like we're talking like four to eight hours or longer. Exactly. Um, That's why I was and like, so you're you currently you don't have that kind of time is basically what you're saying. So um, as I hear you, cute little kiddo. <laughs> no, it's all fine. No, it's good. So like right now you don't have um, if you don't really have time, like if all of your time is either raising your son and then like after that, I assume you're you know trying to connect with your wife and like have a good relationship because that's a goal that you you have. That's the thing that you have like set as a, a high value in your life yeah it's like i pretty much go hard with Aiden until christine's home and then it's like yeah well, time to hang out with christine maybe game with her for a bit she plays destiny on occasion sure sure so so uh if you don't have time to stream it doesn't mean you don't have time to do other stuff like um and then so yeah sure like if i'm certain i don't have a child but i'm certain like as as your kid grows up you're gonna have more time like if they're gonna go to school during the day then you have time to stream um, or whatever, maybe. So, like, your your schedule will definitely change. But, like, right now, uh, I'm a big believer in always doing something. Um, if that's your dream, like, working towards it should be, like, an obsession. So, just because you can't stream right now doesn't mean you can't, like, take, take like, your best clip of the day and put it on YouTube or put it on Instagram or Facebook or any of the other places where a shorter form video uh, can still like yield you proper results. There's also stuff that you can do about like learning. So like streaming isn't really like SEO heavy, right? Like you don't have to know about search engine optimization. You don't have to know about keywords. You don't have to know about shit like that. But educating yourself about those things can help accelerate stuff for you when you do get a chance to start streaming. Because you know, if you're, if you're a person and you know how to go out there and post like a really keyword rich Instagram post, uh, it's gonna drive people to, you know, you and wherever you're at. Does that make sense? Yeah, completely. And thank you for that. I guess it's like, I've always got this, which I'm not gonna like completely like blame this on you or anything, but it was like, I look to you and it's like, yeah, this guy was streaming eight, 10, 12 hours a day or whatever. And it's like, well, yeah, and I was, I was home, absolutely, I, I was absolutely in a position where I could do that. And I understand that like, not everyone's in that position, but you always have there's always something that you can do, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's like, I forget who it was. I follow so many streamers on Twitter, but it was like, hit live, whether if it's for an hour, two, 30 minutes, just yeah. go live. I would I would push back against that, like, honestly, a little bit. Uh, because what what I'm also hearing from you is that you don't, you don't want to do that. Like, you don't, it doesn't seem like you want to do stream for like 30 minutes or an hour, right? Like, that's kind of... Like, yeah, it's like right? it's my I'm always in it for the long haul. Like when I yeah, was so you wanna put on a I was I you wanna put on a good show. Me. Yeah, exactly. You know, that actually has some length to it. Yeah. So like that those ideas are great when you have time, but if you don't, it doesn't mean that you just shouldn't try. Uh it just means you need to try something else. And who knows? Like, I mean, you could start posting stuff on Instagram and over time, that could grow, and you can get a million followers. You can be the biggest person on Instagram with with fucking Destiny content. Like you don't know. Um, but the point is, is like the more that you get used to creating content, the more it becomes like just part of something that you think about. It's it'll, it'll be easier no matter what you do. So that's that's my advice for right now. Is if you don't have time to put on the kind of stream that you want, you still have time to do something else to a quality level that you find acceptable that'll help you achieve those goals. I love how you just phrase that because, well, like you said, to what, 
I find acceptable because it's like I've always like over analyzed myself and stuff. So to make sure it's like, no, this is okay, this is nice or whatever. Yeah, you have a quality, you have quality standards, and and you shouldn't try and push back against those because then you'll be unhappy with what you're doing. So you should find you know a nugget of time every day where you can make a really good post on Twitter or Facebook or wherever, um, and learn how to grow there because that I mean the more you learn how to grow in any space, it'll it'll inform the way you do stuff in other places. Well, thank right. you, man. I, I guess my biggest fear of stuff like that was, uh, this might be a trip I've been seeing from, like, M. Tash or Inkoosh, just because they're being said, I was like, hey, dude, you need to check out my montage. And, you know, just doing silly things No, like yeah, I mean, well, I mean, like, whatever, how, whatever form of networking you feel like best fits your personality, you should absolutely do it. Because the only, I mean, you don't get anywhere by not trying. So you just gotta start trying. That is well, my advice. You. Or, you, yeah. You're too damn awesome for words, man. Seriously. Ah, shut up. I'm a, I'm just a guy. <laughs> well, you say that, but like, I'm not going to go into any sob story, but let's just say there was a time when I was at a low. I wasn't even playing Destiny because my one guy I played with on 360 had like left me or whatever. It was just a damn shit day. I loaded, I loaded Twitch up and I was never really on Twitch. I found your stream and it was like you were speaking to me just out of nowhere even though i wasn't even talking to chat that's and really nice that, man for one damn reason it was like that i don't know a lot of things clicked for me and i've just got to turn my life around so you might be just a guy but to you you've you've been some guy on the internet that just <laughs> kicked my ass into shape so thank well, you well I, I appreciate i mean that that motivates me to, to keep doing what i do man and that's comments like that are the whole reason why i stream um that's awesome dude thank you very much do you want to shout out any of the locations where these fine people can find you and take advantage of the moment? Uh, yeah. Uh, EMP X Omega. Where, wherever you find that on the internet, that's me. That is a handle I've had since probably middle school. Nice. I've just got that nice cross to... branding situation. <laughs> so I got figured just have that be my forever handle and EMP X Omega. That's it's... that's I dig it, man. Well, best of luck and get out there and like find something that you can do. And start doing it or start learning. You'll be, Thank it'll you. make you happy. I promise. It'll feel good. You should do it. Definitely. After <laughs> I finally get to finish up your let's play of South Park, I was waiting <laughs> for that this weekend, man. God. Oh, it's done. I just put it out the last episode. All right, dude. You have a good one. <laughs> hey, you too. Thank you again. All right, man. Peace. Peace. All right, dude. EMP Omega is such a nice guy, man. What a nice dude. Um, so we got some subs in here. Anna Raven, Steven with eight months of subbing. Chew, uh, Chuck Bucka. Chubucka? Chew, Chewbucka. Thanks for two months of subbing. Lister Fiend with 28 months of subbing and sick for, uh, sick arrow, maybe? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, EMPX Omega, man. EMPX Omega. What a nice guy. Pineapple says, my question is, do you want more? With the 36, dude, Pineapple, will you, you're so generous, sir. Thank you very much for the tip. You are, you are goddamn super nice. And I appreciate the hell out of you. Uh, thank you, sir. Let's, uh, let's get another person. Let's get this guy. Let's get Alpha Train. Hello, Alpha Train. Maybe. We'll let him, we'll let him talk maybe hello uh hey alpha train what's up man what up uh, not much what's up with you what are you doing today what do you what do you got going on probably some light grind today oh, it feels good man all right what uh what can i do for you you have a question uh, of sorts hmm this is some throwback shit Okay. What is your favorite? What is your favorite BL2 weapon? Was <laughs> not necessarily any advice there. My favorite Borderlands 2 weapon. I don't know, man. Like Jacob's uh, Jacob's shotgun, because speed running. And that's all I ever used. <laughs> all right. Awesome, man. <laughs> well, you have a good day grinding your light, bro. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you. <laughs> for watching for so long. That's a hell of a throwback. <laughs> No problem, dude. All right, man. You have a good one. Same. See you later, dude. All right. Uh, yeah. 
What a nice guy. He just wasn't. He sometimes you have to look backwards so you can look forwards. So you can look backwards. Uh, all right, let's grab somebody else that has a question that we can do. Uh, 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 uh. Hello. This is Anubis Mortem. Maybe. Uh, oh, snap. Uh, hello, man. Expecting. What's up? <laughs> Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm great. I'm I'm good. Just streaming video games on the internet. I wasn't expecting to be grabbed so quickly. Well, you got grabbed, bro. Now you're going to have to deal with it. Oh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. All right, man. Um, what can I do for so, you? Is this kind of like can I ask multiple questions or just You can ask, I mean whatever, man. We'll just we'll go we'll go with what we can go with, man. You can right, ask so, as many questions as you want, and if I feel like it's too many, I'll just tell you you're jackass. How about that? Is that <laughs> acceptable. acceptable okay all right um so the first question is kind of for you and chat um so i am slightly a streamer i just finally made a schedule because i'm also a cable guy and my sure. hours are like four 12 hour days out of the week yeah um and i started to play i started streaming skyrim but sure. i also like listening to a lot of music yeah so i kind of want to ask the question of like while streaming Skyrim, if somebody's watching it, would you prefer somebody just to not have music on or play music? What do you want? I would like to play music. Well, I think that's what matters. Like, like if it, it's your stream, you know, and like, yeah, Skyrim's cool, but like that shit puts me to sleep after like 20, 30 minutes. You know, back in the day, like I used to do Skyrim. Uh, I used to, I used to play Skyrim. Uh, like way back in the day to do speed runs and like you know as much as the music's great and it's skyrim and, it, and it's cool it gets fucking boring like you just want to listen to something else like it's your stream i think you should definitely be doing what you want first of all um you know like there's no reason i mean like crowdsourcing stuff's cool but like ultimately especially if you're you know growing your channel you want it to always feel like it's you there and if you suddenly make a change like later on down the line and everybody tunes in. They're like, yeah, what the fuck is this music bullshit? And you're like, oh, no, I like music. And they're like, well, now I hate you. Because it's not, it doesn't line up with, you know, what they may have signed up with. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Definitely, I'll make that change. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for that. Because that actually, like, makes me feel a whole lot better. Because when I stream, I, I, I don't know, I kind of feel just, like, pressure down that, like, this has to be a great stream. I have to make this, like... One, please the viewers that are coming in, and two, at the same time, try to fit what I want in, but at the same time, I don't want it to, I don't want my wants to overpower. Um, yeah, well, well, the, the thing is, uh, this is, and this is like my opinion, and it's taken a, a while to, to get to where I think this, but like, it, it's, you have to make sure that you're like putting the, you're putting you out there. And if you're a person who loves music, then like you need to be attracting those kinds of people, right? Like that, like people are going to tune in and enjoy themselves more if, if they feel like you're being honest and you know, if that makes sense. Like I, yeah. I used to, when I was streaming, like at first I used to do that a lot. Like I was like, oh, I need to crowdsource this and that. And I need to make sure that everybody's really happy with me all the time and all this other shit right but in reality it didn't really it wasn't true to who i was and i found myself like really resenting certain parts of my stream you know like i used to try and here's a really great example uh <laughs> i used to try and not swear like That's and i would i would right now. i would yeah i would i would burn up all of my energy trying to not swear that I would like get fucking frustrated and like lash out at people because I was trying to put on like a family friendly stream for like a month. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, so so you I'm have to you have to make sure that whatever you're doing when you're making content is is that it it fits with who you are because if it doesn't it'll become I mean it's already going to be exhausting if you're doing it full time and if you're not enjoying it it you won't keep up with it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just funny that you mentioned like the, the not cussing thing because um, I ran into another friend from Twitch that also streams, and he has well, I guess me and my little group of friends have made a deal that if we cuss in his stream, like if we do a multi, okay, um, we end up like, giving him like a hundred bits. What? 
That guy's a dickhead. Yeah. He's just trying to farm you for bits. Well, no, he tells us not to do it. Oh, I got he you. Us not to do it, but we're like, we'll do it anyways because he really tries to promote that friend, that family friendly stream. Sure, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I get it. Um, <laughs> and so, <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, honestly, you know, I'm a, I cuss like a sailor. I throw it out like almost every other sentence. That's cool. So, I'm People who swear have... more are considered more honest, guys. Did you know that? Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> so this guy's not bullshitting you right now. He's telling you the fucking truth. No, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you every fucking thing in my life. <laughs> um, but okay, couple more questions. Sure. This one, it keeps it keeps leaving my mind. Um, I just had it. What is it? Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Ah, it's fine. Uh. Uh. Well, I guess I, I'll think about it after this question. All right. So, at a at GC twenty eighteen. Shall I give you a hug, a handshake, or just a big fat kiss? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Amy would be mad if I went around kissing people, so probably just a hug. A hug's probably good. Yeah, that's that's true. I don't want Amy to hunt me down. Hey, Amy's a nice. No, Amy nice will. Person. Amy will fuck you up, dude. <laughs> I'm scared of Amy. <laughs> um, the next one is ah, there it is. I got it. So now that I, I'm a very small streamer, sure. I have like. 60 followers yeah you're working um, hard you're growing gotcha and as i'm streaming i get like maybe three to five viewers that's like, great concurrent. and uh i have people i know i know that people do come in but they don't stay that much when you were starting off um were you like very talkative like how did you keep a conversation going or how did you just keep going with something that you're talking about because i they're your best friends that to be they're your best friends the people okay. who are the people who are tuning into your stream like when it's the first two or three viewers we t i talked about this yesterday but like you know i remember the names of like the i remember the name of the first random person who came into my stream his name was black ryan like bunch of numbers and i called him black guy because i couldn't like i was like oh it's black guy 429 and he's like He's like, no, dude, it's Black Ryan. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm dyslexia. And like, it was great, you know, but he was the first random person who came into my stream. Um, and like every single person who's tuning into your stream, especially when you're starting, like they're actually your best friends. Like if your stream ends up going anywhere, um, it's because those people are showing up early every single day. Um, you know, like the first, like the, in the first hour of my stream, anyone who shows up in the first hour of the stream, it's like, it, like they're incredibly special because they're the people who give you visibility they're the people who are, you know, tuning in because they really like what you've got going on. So just treat them like, especially with a smaller stream, just treat them like they're your best friends. Like, ask them about their day, find out what they do, get to know them, get to know their life. There's so much to talk about with, with any other person in the world. Like, there's there's infinite amount of experiences that they've had that you haven't had. And, and so that's, I mean, that's what I did. You just start talking to everybody like they're, they're, they're your best friends because they are and they're there to hang out and have a good time and you know feel welcome does that make Thank sense you. yes that, that helps out a lot yeah because you don't have to be talking about the game a lot of people think you need to just be talking about the video game all the time and some people do that and it's great but that, that's not what i did so yeah that's what hard that's to what recommend I was it stuck on because i was always like i would roll up a game um if it's dying light i would try to like kind of just narrate what's happening. That's great. Like, to an extent that I like, go, oh, I'm walking to the left, I'm walking to the right. Oh, that's a little bit too far. Maybe a little bit yeah. too far. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't go that far, but I always felt like, I'm like, okay, I'm not really being entertaining here. Yeah. People would come in for the game and they, they're, they're awesome. I, I, I love everybody that joins, that joins my stream. Um, but then I feel like I'm driving people away from, by, by what I'm saying. Sure, no, I mean, well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's always going to be something you're worrying about is like whether or not you're actually connecting with people. But I think it, it comes down to just making sure that you're, if you're happy with what you're doing, that'll show, you know? Okay. So like that, that like that self-awareness to know like, okay, like I don't feel like I'm doing, you know, the best right now. That's good. And if you keep like leaning into that, it's going to help inform your choices like for the future. So you can keep getting better at what you're doing. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that 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 would, that also answers like all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Well, you have an absolutely incredible day, Anubis. Do you want to tell everybody where they can find your beautiful face? 
Uh, yes, twitch.tv slash Uh Also, I have a small YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded anything in like three months because I'm kind of getting scared of YouTube. But uh, that is youtube.com slash Mortal. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I had to change my name due to a trials match on Destiny 1. I got you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got reported after Nova, after Nova bombing, the whole team, on the final round. Yeah. And two days later, my name got reported, and I had it for like two years. Oh, that that sucks. And so that's why I'm now Anubis. So well, there you go, man. Thank you so much, Bo Man. I, this is honestly the greatest thing that's going to happen today, <laughs> and I cannot wait to see you, Goth. Kevin, everybody, and soon I will be sipping down your King's Coast coffee. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I hope you enjoy that stuff, man. Thank you very much for, no for being Thank here and being you. a great part of the community. I hope that I hope that everything that you do in the future is incredibly successful. I love you, man. Thank you. I love you, too. All right, man. See ya. Bye. Look, Anubis Mortem is such a nice guy, dude. Such a nice guy. Uh, okay, let me get this. Uh, Michael... Ah! Michael, thanks for uh oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Two months of subbing and gunslinger, thanks for 21 months of subbing. Welcome back, man. Heartwarming, dude. Heartwarming, absolutely. What a nice guy. <laughs> Best start to your day. I mean, that's what it's all about, dude. That's what it's all about. Holy cow. What is this guy needs to die? You want a $50 lottery ticket? That's exciting, bro. Oh, what do I, I need to like go do this thing over here? Something like that. All right, let's grab, uh, let's grab, let's like, I think we do like one more. You'll see like one more and then we'll see, see, get, see if it scratches the itch. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get this guy. Hi, robot gone mad. Please don't like kill all of us hey can you hear me hey man what's up how are you i'm great um i'm not gonna kill anybody good i, I mean i was just care i wanted to be careful because if you're an insane robot like that that could be bad yeah, dude that stuff is getting out of control elon musk is warning everybody dude right i mean and then like that one ai robot like called him called him the fuck out yeah saudi arabia yeah okay well anyway let's not talk about that what's your question what do you got? Just two questions, but two. I, uh, I don't think that they're going to be that long. So all right, okay, okay. okay. Um, uh, the first of my questions would be, uh, well, I'm a YouTuber. Um, sure. Do like all my stuff there. I don't stream on Twitch or anything, um, though. I'm considering starting that. And uh, really, I just I uh, I don't know. I kind of get conflicted on uh, whether or not I should be doing what I enjoy. Or what viewers enjoy because okay. sometimes I play games and a lot of people really like to watch that but I don't necessarily enjoy playing that as much okay like give me some examples what do you like so, to play what do you like to play really like playing destiny 2 but sure. uh, that's I don't know that game is also like dropping in popularity and a lot of people just sure. don't seem to be interested on that sure. in that especially uh, on my channel a lot of people are not like those videos aren't getting as many views as sure some of the other ones so all right we'll and really what, so what halo content are you producing that's getting a lot of views so like back whenever i did like halo 5 a lot of people really cool. enjoyed that and cool. uh a little bit more of a positive response than uh some of the destiny 2 stuff gotcha gotcha so so there's two ways to look at that that issue right um one is like yeah there, there are games that increase and fall off in popularity all the time so there's two ways to approach that like you can you can take a long bet on something right like okay i know this game isn't doing well right now popularity is dropping off but when i look to the future it's got like dlcs coming it's got uh you know it's got more content um that might get people engaged or you can like look at a developer's track record to see if they have you know okay well these people definitely improve their games or like wow these people just sort of sell games and leave them to rot um so th there's two ways to approach it one you could totally uh you know you could do what makes analytical sense and just play whatever's going to get you the most views right that's that's totally a legitimate option and a lot of people approach life that way um uh 
but I'm a big fan of taking um, like longer informed chances, right? Like everybody, everybody likes to hop around and focus on like, okay, well, this is the hot thing for the moment. And they run around, they run around, they run around. And it's hard to build a community and engagement off of that. Does that make sense? Because if, if uh, not that you can't uh, be a variety broadcaster or a, a Let's Play channel and, and not build popularity, there's certainly a lot of people who've done it. Um, but in, a, in the long term, <clears throat> it's, it's more difficult to build a community if you're constantly just sort of chasing what they want to see. Because the reality is you might not be building a community at all. You might just be getting a larger amount of views from a, a different set of people, if that makes sense. What the like the true marker of success in social media, no matter what you're doing, is the level of interaction, like impact that you have. And, and I, we talked about this yesterday, but like if someone with 10 million followers or 10 million subs on, on YouTube says, go buy this thing and 10 people buy it, but somebody with a thousand followers on Twitch says, go buy this thing and a hundred people buy it. Who, who actually is more engaging. So yeah, with a thousand followers. Yeah. yeah. The person with a thousand followers. So, um, like numbers and likes and things like that are, they're, they're great metrics, but, um, there aren't really solid metrics for looking at your engagement and like YouTube. And all those motherfuckers, they like to act like they have that information. Like, here's your engagement numbers. Here's how many yeah, people are yeah. responding to your posts. Ooh, good job. You had five more people tell you to kill yourself on this video. And they act like that's good interaction, right? Yeah. Um, over the long term, uh, that's something that, like, truly, like, you, you are the best at monitoring that. So my recommendation would be... I guess find out what kind of channel you want to run. What, what what do you want? Like, what's your end goal? Just my end goal is just, I don't know. I want to just grow um, as a channel and, you know, have a fun place where people can just watch me play video games and yeah. have a good time. And, and, and they will enjoy, you know, watching me play that just as much as I enjoy playing. Sure. Whatever I'm playing. So what uh, the other the other super important thing and I. Sorry, I didn't get to this sooner. Do you have to identify like what makes you different? Like, why should I watch you over someone else? Um, uh, that's that's the tough part. I've thought about that a lot. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, and that's like introspection is important, right? Like finding out, like, what are you good at? Um, you know, what what is it that you do that drives you know you to do things? Um, <clears throat> because like if you take that like whatever your strength is and you lean into that and you present your content via that methodology it's going to have a higher level of, of impact on people like for me i had no idea what the fuck i was doing when i started streaming on twitch and it took me it took me a few years to figure out like what do i feel like is my best content um like what am i good at you know and like, I'm good at caring about people. I'm good at talking and I'm relatively smart. That's about it. Like I'm a solid communicator, but like all of the things I fucking suck. I'm funny sometimes, but like, I can't, I don't run a 120, you know, a, a 24 seven comedy show here. Like I, I like to do things like this because this is what I like to do. And it's what I'm best at. So as you're making content on YouTube, figuring out you know your best ways or your best methods for interacting with people and creating content um they may not drive the the best engagement at first because it might not be trendy or whatever you know uh you feel like you know like whatever the trend is like oh everyone's playing this game uh yeah. but over the long term you'll build a more committed audience complicated answer uh, yeah, that's good though. That's good though. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, it's, that's good. Yeah. There's a, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of aspects. Another thing you could do, and I don't know if you have any extra money, um, or if you have a Facebook page, but if you are really trying to just get yourself out there, Facebook ads are actually fucking great. <laughs> um, and just sharing yeah, I'm on, on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, and that's really about as far as I go in terms of uh, the other social medias. Sure. You want me to share your secret with you? 
I haven't told anyone this, but here you go. Uh, so I started a Facebook page specifically just to fuck around with Facebook ads. And if I make a, like a piece of Destiny content that's time relevant, okay, like something happened today and I make a video and I put it on Facebook and I run like $3 worth of advertising on it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like $3, I have like a targeted ad, whatever. And the, the revenue on that video will more than double because the organic sharing that happens on Facebook is so much more impactful than another space like Twitter. And I think a lot of people are ignoring Facebook because they're like, oh, fuck that. That's for my grandma. But people who are in Facebook's demographic play video games and they don't have a lot of content that's presented to them. Um, at least based, I mean, like, you know, like they might have one or two. They have the Facebook live streamers that, that do <clears throat> gaming content. But I, I have found, at least with the Destiny content I put on YouTube or I do on fa I put on Facebook. It uh, it does it it does disproportionately well compared to stuff I post on Twitter or Instagram. <laughs> I know, Consider I know it sounds Facebook, that sounds a little bit more valuable than I thought. Well, I listen, dude. I shat on Facebook for a really fucking long time, like a long time. People would be like, "Bro, man, why don't you have a Facebook page?" And I'd be like, "I don't know. Why don't you go fuck yourself?" Like I was really antagonistic about it. Um. Uh. But then I started, you know, like getting myself a little bit more educated with marketing because a lot of what we do as content creators is marketing focused. And, you know, Facebook's Facebook's really cheap advertising. You can get a thousand people to look at your post for a dollar, you know, and if you wanted a thousand people to look at your your ad on the side of a highway, it costs ten thousand dollars. You know, so it's like the the return on your investment is so huge right now. It's like a steal. So I would recommend that. You might be surprised. I don't know if you have any extra money, but like, you know, a dollar a day for for your daily upload to to advertise it and try and hit hit a hit a good market with it is isn't a bad investment. I'll I'll definitely look into that. Sure, man. Can you want to? You want to? Sorry, I feel like I rambled at you a lot. I hope that was mildly helpful. Good. I'll. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, you know, watch this back and make sure I catch every little bit of information in there because <laughs> you're pretty helpful, dude. Um, do you want to tell everybody where they can find you? Uh, On the internet. My my uh, YouTube channel is Robot Gone Mad. Um, that's really it. You can find me on Twitter at Robot Gone Mad. Um, if I ever start up on Twitch, which again, like I said earlier, I'm considering it. Um, my Twitch name is Rob T Gone Mad because I couldn't fit all my characters in the name. That um, sucks. <laughs> but Rob T sounds off. cool, man. Yeah, it does. Like Rob T makes you <laughs> sound like a like, badass. Who are you watching right now? I'm watching Rob T. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. No, know. it sounds badass, man. Yeah, and I like it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. All right. Well, Thanks. uh, you know, get one of my mods to post, or you can post your YouTube link in the chat, and people can go check you out. And hopefully, they like you. Hopefully, you're not like super awful human being on your. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm fucking with you. I'm sure you're great. <laughs> you seem I, like a really self-aware guy. Um, thanks yeah. for thanks for asking the questions, man. You're the fucking best. Helping me out. I have any time, dude. Let me. I want to know. I want to know. If you try any of this shit out, I want to know in like two months how it went. And like maybe we could circle back and do this again. And you could like give me some feedback so I can learn how things yeah, work, do, uh, how things are working for you. Yeah, like a follow up, like a doctor. I do like like a bromance. Ask me anything. Where are they now? Where are they now? Yeah, I fucking hate that term. Where are they now? I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I just want to be like, did they get results? Like, that's what I fucking care about. That's what everyone cares. Yeah. Like, oh, this guy was one whatever. Where is he now? Oh, he's a meth addict. Like, that's what everyone wants to see. I want to know yeah. how things went good. Yeah. All right. Well, well, thanks again, man. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, you too, dude. I love you. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Sure. What a nice guy. That guy was nice. I like Robot Gone Mad. <laughs> he's a cool dude. Have you heard or seen Man's Not Hot? Of course, dude. Man's Not Hot. And to Tingo Scrap. All right, you understand? All right, dude. That felt good. I felt like that felt like that uh that last one was a lot. And I feel like I've answered my brain is like Poof. so we're we're going to for the questions today. Thank you. 
for asking the question. 